went bust. GSM London, which has sites in Greenwich and Greenford, is one of the largest private degree providers in England. Well, Luke Hanrahan has been hearing from students devastated by what's happened. This university has gone bankrupt. But Mia is one of those affected. She fears her studies have been for nothing. I couldn't sleep. I come this morning, 10 o'clock, when they open the door, ask questions. The only answer I have is go on, still study. And how much money will you owe for this course? 12,000 or more. 12,000? Or more. How am I going to pay back if I'm not even finished what I started? GSM London, one of the biggest private higher education providers in the country, will stop teaching students in September. These students are now asking, was their hard work a waste? My main worries are that I won't be able to compete and get an MBA, just like everybody else. We've worked very hard. There's been no communication, and this is something that they've been aware about for a long time. So where does that leave me? Where does that leave everybody? Where does that leave our degree? They told us everything last minute, and they were still trying to enroll people to come to the university, knowing they're going to close. GSM received £152 million in public money in the six years to last year. And as of last year, there were more than 4,500 students, each with government loans of £6,000 a year, which they still need to pay back. In a statement, GSM said our students will be supported as far as possible. Discussions are already underway with other higher education providers to identify options and advice and guidance will be provided to students as soon as details are finalised. Some lay the blame at what they describe as the marketisation of education. Universities are preoccupied on getting large numbers of students through the door to fund their model. It is about advertising to students and getting them to register on courses so that they come to the institution rather than supporting the students on their courses. The government says the vast majority of institutions like this are in good financial health. It will not bail out failing providers. The 247 people who work here will have to find a new job. The level of the standard of lectures is beyond question. We've had some excellent tutors here, um, and it's a real shame that their jobs now are on the line also. Once a for-profit college owned by a private equity company, now a bankrupt business school, which has left those who are paying to learn to potentially pay the price. And Luke, uh, you stayed uh, in Greenwich for us this evening. And tell me, is there any help or uh, support being offered to students from the Department of Education or anyone else for that matter? Well, the truth is there is no law to protect these students. And many have been turning up today to effectively discover that they're out on a limb. For most, it means trying to secure a transfer to another college. But with the September deadline now fast approaching, time is running out and many are unlikely to be successful. The independent regulator uh, has said that it's working with the government to ensure students are informed about available options and that their academic achievements to date don't go down the drain. But it's a desperate situation and a very depressing day to say the least for many of the students here at GSM London. Yeah, it certainly is. Okay, Luke Hanrahan in Greenwich, uh, thanks very much for that.